Yes, these Duracell batteries absolutely never leak, except in my DIY Numetron clock, which I manually built and I really don't want it destroyed by corrosion. I've built this several years ago, it runs on a 5V USB power supply and the batteries are just for backup. It is a microcontroller here which I programmed, and of course my program and the schematic is on my website, I will put a link into the description. Here's the beeper, some diode, preventing the power supply from charging the non-rechargeable batteries, the crystal with its capacitors, couple resistors and three power series in parallel out registers, which are here. These are Soviet neutrons, you can plug it in, it actually still works. It just got reset because the battery is not working anymore. Numetrons are basically 7 segment displays, but instead of LEDs, they're using tungsten filaments. It seems a bit dim under studio lights, but normally it's nicely readable. And now let's take a look at the batteries in it. There's the battery holder and two Duracell batteries. And it really isn't a very nice sight. Let's take them out. Jesus! The springs are completely corroded in the contacts. Can you see it? Horrible. Just look at it. The contacts are gone. There is so much of it in it from the batteries. And the battery holders held in place by two screws and one of them is actually corroded even on the other side. Or the nut on it. This is on the outside of the box. Amazing. It says Duralock. And it's actually good up to March 2025. Now it's 2024, so these are not even expired yet. They're completely rotten. Typical Duracell batteries. But fortunately there is no corrosion on the board, which would be very annoying. I built this manually. This is not some crap from China, produced in millions of pieces which I would just trash with the batteries. I hand soldered every joint in this. So let's unscrew the battery holder. This is done. You cannot even turn this one, how it's corroded. Now the battery holder is out. These are completely rotten. It's not going to make contact anymore. This one actually is sort of good, but I'm replacing the entire holder. This thing also quite corroded. These are actually leaking on both sides, both the positive and the negative. Horrible. Okay, let's abandon the place. Just a random piece of a blank circuit board. Just a piece of this board and a random battery holder from a motherboard. Nice. The black wire is actually corroded inside of the insulation. I'm cutting pieces of it and still not getting to a clean wire. I have to cut all of this to get to a clean section. And that's it. And it's mounted. Nice. And it's running for 50,975 hours already. The upper three digits and lower three digits. That's the alarm. Working without power. And it backs up. Let's just put the cover back and that's it. And the screws are back and the lithium battery is never going to leak, unlike the Duracell ones. And that's it, and if you like my videos, please consider subscribing, supporting my channel on Patreon or using the thanks button. And big thanks to all of you who already support me, because you keep this channel running.